Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we're going to talk about some brushes. First I just wanted to let you know uh, this was probably going to be my last, well this is my last video for the year. I have been in Adelaide since the 18th of December. I don't have anything else filmed. I don't know when I'll be back. It'll probably only be in a couple of days though. I hope you've enjoyed what I have uploaded in December and I hope you stick around to see what's coming up. Let me know down below if there are, are any videos you'd love to see and I'll hopefully be filming some stuff while I'm in Adelaide. I'll share with you in January. But let me know if there's anything that you do want to see. Hopefully I'll have something up in the next couple of days. Thank you for bearing with me. I really appreciate it. So today I wanted to talk about brushes and I've got quite a large brush collection. Um, it's forever. Just going. No one sends me things. I buy all of these because I have a problem. But I wanted to start off and telling you about this amazing brand that's called Jessup. They are on AliExpress and eBay and they do sets for about 20 to $30. Uh, of like 10 15 brushes of varying different types I have quite a few of the types I thought I would show you I've lost the entire full sets and it's actually quite difficult for me to figure out where the full sets are there's only so many types that they sell in bundles and you'll be able to sort of see and get a grasp of them so I'm gonna start off with some brushes I bought from them many years ago and I'm pretty sure they don't sell this style anymore but I just want to prove I've had these for five plus years and they still are going strong they still work the quality in the brand has definitely gone up these are still a thing and this brand is fantastic if you're just starting out in makeup and you want to get a grasp of makeup brushes I find them very overwhelming and to me parting with 20 30 dollars to sort of get your head around the kinds of brushes that you might like using is a good way to start so I own three different styles of the Jessup brushes I've got the sort of maroon style, I've got the bamboo, and I've got the sparkly pink brushes. I like all of the brushes for varying different reasons. Of the pink sparkly range, they tend to just have numbers on them, but the powder brushes are some of my favourite. I really enjoy them, they're really nice, soft and densely packed. And like this is like, it's like a contour brush and I really I just enjoy the feel of them of the eyeshadow brushes I have from them in this range they're not too bad I don't tend to reach for them very often but they're just a little bit bigger and fluffier they do blend nicely this set is really good for the face brushes but the eye brushes leave a little bit like a little bit lacking they're still they're still good brushes I still like them of the bamboo set I've only got eye, eye brushes uh, so this is some of the range I've got and I do use these a fair bit the shader brush and I do like on the brush it actually says what it's used for so the smudger brush they're decent they're a good beginner trial brush there's a good range of different shapes to play with and get a taste for what kind of brush your preference is because you are going to find that you have your own preferences. I do like the style. This is sturdy. And I like the idea that they've got them stuck on the side. But my absolute favourite style that I have bought from Jessup is the maroon set. I really enjoy the face brushes I've got in this set. Even though I can't seem to find them. I know I enjoy them. Yeah. So I've got like this brush and this brush. I love this brush face definer but this brush I love it for bronzer contour the hourglass ambient palettes it's really nice and soft and it doesn't disturb my makeup when going on I'm just I'm a fan this brush is a nice sort of stippling brush that you can dab something on or blend out cream contours with it's really nice it's solid and it's plastic it's also got the names of what the brush is meant to do on it for the eye brushes, I do quite enjoy this style of brush. So I lie. I think I must enjoy the bamboo set more than I thought. I've just used all of these brushes. Uh, this is a really nice crease brush. This is a beautiful 
concealer brush. It's nice and densely packed. I like it. And then this is a really cute petite little packer on brush. It's fun to use. And this one's good for your inner corner. So the bamboo set is really decent and it has a good range, especially if you've got small or hooded eyes. I'm not sure if I have many of them, but this, I do like these. They maybe feel a bit stiffer, the ones that I can find right now. But there's a really nice like eyebrow one that are always handy to have. And I do like the sleek style of these. It's, they feel a lot smoother. They're quite nice and light. Yeah, they're just, they're decent brushes. I highly recommend Jessup. It does take like a month once you order for them to come, which yes, is annoying. But when you're starting out with brushes and building your brush collection, it's a great place to start because they're affordable and they're decent. I really enjoy these brushes and I think you would too. Anyway, so then I just wanted to go into a bit of my favorite style of brush and the brushes that I think most people need in their life. So if you do your brows, a little nice pointy brush like this. You can find these anywhere. I don't think you should be paying more than a couple of dollars for them. And they are just a angled jagged that are really easy to do your brows with. They make it just so easy. A smudger brush. I just showed you one of these before, but this is my Mac one. This is the 214, but it just does a beautiful job. It's nice, it's densely packed and goes underneath. I don't think you need to buy the Mac brand of this. I think you would be happy with any brand that you bought of that style. I do really enjoy the brush that Annette got me as the M149 and this is really good on the inner corner. It's nice and pointy and tight and it's really nice to use. It's, it's very unique. I don't actually have a brush that is that densely packed and small. I feel like everyone sort of needs a packing brush. I don't think you should pay more than a couple of dollars for these but it's just a really thin tall brush that you can then dab dab dab. And for me, the most important brush to sort of consider investing in once you know the shape of brush that you like is going to be a blender brush. And this is my more expensive range. For comparison, here is the Morphe 506, one of Annette's favorite brushes. I will link Annette's brush video. I really enjoyed it. It was very good. So this is the Wayne Goss brush 20 next to the M506. And you can see how they're just both very small, densely packed, and blendability. The biggest difference is that the Morphe is going to be synthetic, and the Wayne Goss, I believe, is goat hair. They're both very nice and small and easy to get into those little crevices of your eyes. So a small brush like that. For your crease, you might not be able to tell. But these two brushes are very different from these three. These brushes are nice and I do like them. This is the Wayne Goss number six and I've got the Chikuhudo CN6 brush and they're sort of a flat shader brush. So I'd use this to sort of go in for more precise lining in your crease. They're very nice, soft, delicate brushes and they are beautiful. But I feel like that's going to be more if you're going into more if you're using a real gradient of looks and you really want the color to stay in one spot of your eye, that's where I'd go. If you're just putting colors in your crease and you're not too worried about the placement, these are the fellas for you. So this is the MAC 217. This is pre-synthetics, so I haven't actually tried the new one, but I do love this brush and it just blends beautifully across, nice and soft. This is the Chikuhodo GSN 10. And you can see just soft, easy to blend going through. And this is one of my faves, a very bougie luxury brush. It's the Sonia G Worker one. And this is just beautiful. If you look this one up, a lot of research went into it behind it and it lives up to the hype. So my recommendation to you is once you go into like trying out Jessup brushes, figure out what sort of style you want then I would go on Beautylish and look at their brushes and sort of see what kind of brush might appeal to what you want to do. The Sonia G brush, I just love it. It's worked well with every single eyeshadow I've ever used it with. I don't get as much skipping as I do with the Jessup brushes just because it's a lot gentler, gentler on the eye. And I've got that bit of loose skin on there, which sounds gross, but that can create skipping in the eyeshadow sometimes. So the Sonia G brush, it's a bit of a miracle worker and I do love it. I highly recommend it, but I also am well aware that it's expensive 
and that no one really needs to spend that much money on a brush like ever but if you did you know this is the brush <laughs> um so to me having one of these brushes the small packing brush in a corner brush and a packing brush and a smudger brush so essentially five brushes you're gonna be able to create any eye look you want yeah and I would start with the Jessup brushes and then upgrade your collection as you go from there and you'll find your brushes just get a little bit out of hand sometimes. I hope this was somewhat helpful for you. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the new year.